Hey guys, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick video for you. I just want to give you a couple of ideas of some awesome DIY gifts that you can make and give to people if you're really low on cash this Christmas. I blog at lifeofstones.com where I share our personal financial journey to help you budget your best life. And part of budgeting your best life is being sure to stay out of debt this holiday season. In an ideal world, we'd be able to spend tons of money on every single person that we love and show them how much we love them with the gifts that we give them, but that's just not always realistic. So if you're on a super low budget, but gift giving is your love language, then stick around and I'll give you a couple of good ideas of some DIY Christmas gifts you can make this year. Thank you so much for watching. I make videos about living on a budget, paying off debt, improving your finances. I'm really trying to be intentional with your money and your life in general. This is our first Christmas that we are actually completely debt free. We've been debt free since September. I will link a video where I talk all about our debt payoff and you can check it out above. But I really kind of thought that being debt free, we'd spend a lot more money on Christmas. And while we do have a big Christmas budget, that's mostly because we have a large family and we have a lot of activities that we do, different parties. I also include a couple birthdays in our holiday budget. I include New Year's, I include Thanksgiving. So it's not just gifts. But here's the thing guys, we have so many other people that aren't even included in our budget that we want to give gifts to. I have a lot of aunt and uncles that are so generous, they always purchase something for my kids. And while I know they're not expecting a gift from me in return, I love to give gifts and I love to show people how much I care for them and I want to give them a little something. So years ago I started a tradition. Well, it wasn't really intended to be a tradition, but we've kept it up over the years, so I guess that makes it a tradition. But I've started a tradition where I sit down with my two kids and we make a handmade gift for some teachers, those aunts and uncles, and even a neighbor or two. This has been something that I look forward to each year, and while I'm not going to sit here and actually make the gifts to show you, I did just want to give you a couple ideas. Because sometimes when I mention to people that they can make Christmas gifts, I think the first thing that pops into your head is like these crappy little homemade ornaments or Christmas decor that just kind of collect year after year and clutter up your house and just nobody knows what to do with them. But I'm talking about real, practical and consumable gifts. I think the key is consumable. So something that people can use, something they can eat and enjoy, something that's going to get used up eventually and not just collect dust around your house. I just want to give you a couple ideas of things we've done in the past and I'm going to link some helpful articles and some of the products down below in the description box. So be sure to check those out if you are going to give any of these ideas a try for yourself. I think the best way to find DIY Christmas gifts is to scour Pinterest. I like to see pictures of the finished product, so I usually look on Pinterest, but this year what we have decided to do is we are going to make two things. We are going to attempt, and I say attempt because I know this can be kind of finicky. I've seen people try to make this before and have a difficult time, so hey, we're going to give it a shot. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, then I guess we'll just be giving one gift this year. But the first gift we're going to try to make this year is homemade sea salt caramels or caramels. Caramels? Caramels? Which way do you say it? Sea salt caramels. My son absolutely loves these and I think it's just a fun thing that you can make. We're even going to take, um, I don't know if you use wax paper or parchment paper, clearly we haven't done it yet. but. You can even cut little squares and wrap them yourself so they look like the real thing, a real candy that you can buy in the store. I went ahead and purchased a candy thermometer since I'm sure it's pretty temperature sensitive and we already have a big pot. We already have like a jelly roll tray or cookie sheet that we need and I have wax paper, I have parchment paper and I went ahead and got the ingredients as well. So I hope that we can give that a shot this weekend and if you follow me on Instagram, check it out over there because I'll definitely post some stories and some pictures of the finished product. I'll even post pictures if it failed. So that's our first present this year. The second gift we're going to make this year is Christmas 
scented room sprays using essential oils. All I did was go ahead and search Pinterest for a couple of different posts and try to find a recipe that I really liked. I tried to find one that incorporated some oils I already had on hand, so it really minimized what I had to purchase, especially for those of you that are huge into essential oils, this would be a great idea for you. Again, it's a consumable, so when people are done spraying it, they can either reuse the bottle, upcycle it for something else, or they can just get rid of it. So it's not just going to sit around all year long and take up space on their counter. For this, all you're gonna need is to purchase some bottles. I got a 12 pack on Amazon. I only got four ounce bottles. I think it cost me maybe 12 bucks for 12. 12 bottles, they weren't pricey. I'll leave the link down below. I got a small little funnel. I purchased some oils that I needed. I purchased a bottle of distilled water. So sometimes if you use tap water, it can get a little funky if it sits in the bottle for too long. So I went ahead and purchased a gallon of distilled water, which is really only a couple bucks. And I grabbed some stickers from Target just to put on the bottle. So I will go ahead and leave a link to the recipe down below. I got enough supplies to make 12 bottles of spray but you barely even make a dent in the essential oil bottles. So I could have those to make again next year if people liked them, or to make all different kinds of scents, or to just diffuse in my home. So that one, you really get a good bang for your buck. That's all we're making for this year. But thinking back to previous years, last year me and the kids made bath bomb gift sets for everybody. It was great, we just got some cellophane bags, got a bath bomb kit off Amazon. I'll leave that down below. It was very inexpensive. We made a ton of bath bombs and everybody absolutely loved them. Any kind of cookies, of course. I know cookies can sometimes get a little played out in the holiday, but some great ideas are to maybe splurge on really cute packaging because even though the packaging is kind of pointless and just gets thrown out anyway, it makes for a really great presentation. So it can take something boring, such as cookies that everybody gives you for the holiday, and you can really spruce it up with some awesome packaging and make it really stand out from all of the other cookies and fruitcakes people get throughout the holiday season. Another idea is other kinds of candy. It doesn't have to be just caramels. We've done chocolate covered pretzels in the past. You can just do plain chocolate covered pretzels or you can make them fancy with sprinkles and different colored chocolate. We've done the longer pretzel rods and again you just put them in a cute little bag with a cute little bow. It's different candy bags or cute little mason jars filled with different kinds of candies and a nice big tool bow to make them stand out. Another great idea that I really wanted to do this year, but I just did not get my life together in time. I'm going to try and make this our gift for next year. It's gonna be a little bit pricier to gather up your supplies, but I think it would be a really awesome gift that so many people would love, and it would have a little bit more of a wow factor without breaking the bank, would be to make your own soy candles. So many of us have a ton of mason jars sitting around our house anyway, but if not, you can grab mason jars, use coupons for Michaels or AC Moore, Hobby Lobby, and you can get them extremely cheap. And you can purchase all the supplies needed on Amazon. And again, if you have essential oils already sitting around at home, go ahead and use those scents. It doesn't have to be holiday or Christmas scents. It can be any scents. Actually, if it's not Christmas scented, people would be more inclined to be able to burn them all year round. I have a couple more ideas to share with you. These were not my ideas. I actually have a really good friend who makes the best homemade gifts every single year. I actually look forward to what she gives me every year and they're so fun. One thing she gave us last year was homemade vanilla extract. It was awesome. Actually, it's almost gone, so I kind of hope she gives me more of that this year. It was a huge bottle, it was probably this big, and if you do any kind of cooking or baking, then you know how expensive vanilla extract can get. Again, just order bottles off of Amazon, they're really not that expensive, and you can find a recipe online. Another great idea is she buys the teeny tiny little mason jars, and she gives a set of two. One of them contains a homemade pizza spice blend, and the other one contains cinnamon and sugar. It's such a cute idea and I absolutely love the little jars when they're gone. I wash them out and reuse them for all different types of things. And one last idea for you guys that seems to be a big hit is sugar scrub. You can scent it with your essential oils. You just use a base of plain coconut oil and sugar and it's a really great exfoliant to keep by a tub if you have a mom or a sister who loves to take bubble baths to relax at the end of the day. And if you don't think a man would like the sugar scrub, my friend also gave this 
awesome gift, which was a bourbon brown sugar. Basically, she just took some bourbon, some sugar, put them together, and you can use that to flavor your coffee. You can use it when baking, and that would be a great idea. You could kind of do two different variations, one for the men and one for the women. Those are just some ideas to get you started. I hope you found some of those ideas helpful. Let me know if you make your own DIY gifts. I would love to hear your own ideas down in the comments. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I wanna wish you a wonderful holiday season. I hope it's filled with lots of joy and love this year. I wanna thank you so much for watching today. I truly, truly appreciate any time you take your time out of your busy day to watch one of my videos. It means so much to me. Have a great day. Bye.